Hello and welcome to Rooster Jokes. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. There were three little boys visiting their grandparents. The oldest came out and asked his grandpa, Can you make a sound like a frog, grandpa? Grandpa, being in a kind of ill mood, responds, No, I don't really want to make the sound of a frog now. So the second little boy comes out and asks his grandfather, Will you please make a sound like a frog? Grandpa again says, No, not now. I don't really want to do that. I'm in a grumpy mood, maybe later. Then the third little boy comes out and says, Grandpa, oh please, 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 will you make a sound like a frog? Why do all of you boys want me to make a sound like a frog? Grandpa asked. The little boy replied with a hopeful face. Well, mom said that when you croak, we get to go to Disney World. <laughs> Always remember you're unique, just like everyone else. <laughs> a man was chosen for jury duty who really wanted to be dismissed from serving. He tried every excuse he could think of, but none of them worked. On the day of the trial, he decided to give it one more shot. As the trial was about to begin, he asked if he could approach the bench. Your Honor, he said, I must be excused from this trial because I am prejudiced against the defendant. I took one look at the man in the blue suit with those beady eyes and that dishonest face and I said, he's a crook, he's guilty. So Your Honor, I cannot possibly stay on this jury. With a tired annoyance, the judge replied, get back in the jury box, you fool. That man is the defendant's lawyer. <laughs> Anything worth taking seriously is worth making fun of. <laughs> you and your husband don't seem to have an awful lot in common, said the new tenant's neighbor. Why on earth did you get married? I suppose it was the old business of opposites attract, was the reply. He wasn't pregnant and I was. <laughs> Duct tape is like the force. It has a light side and a dark side and it holds the universe together. <laughs> 7. Taking his seat in his chambers, the judge faced the opposing lawyers. So, he said, I have been presented by both of you with a bribe. Both lawyers squirmed uncomfortably. You, attorney loan, gave me $15,000 and you, attorney campus, gave me $10,000. The judge reached into his pocket and pulled out a check. He handed it to Leon. Now then, I'm returning $5,000 and we're going to decide this case solely on its merits. <laughs> Eagles may soar, but weasels don't get sucked into jet engines. <laughs> the problem with the gene pool is that there is no lifeguard. <laughs> a drunk leaves a bar and decides to take a shortcut through a graveyard. It is raining heavily and very dark. The drunk fails to see an open grave and falls into it. He tries to climb out of it, but it is too deep and the rain has turned the dirt to mud and has made it too slippery to climb. He gives up after a while and decides to spend the night there. A while later, another drunk leaves the same bar and decides to take the same shortcut through the graveyard. He too falls into that open grave and tries to climb out, but the mud is too slippery. The first drunk is still sitting there and watches as the other drunk tries but fails to get out. The first drunk stands up, taps the second drunk on the shoulder and tells him, 
you'll never get out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. To hear more jokes, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Goodbye.